it's not ideal for most people. If you want to lose weight, you shouldn't just go running. I, I don't agree with that. Oh, oh, oh. Alenda Blackert on Instagram stories. There's so many different things about running and cardio in general. So those of you cardio bunnies, you could drop in the comments below. So many different things about running and cardio in general. What do you think of it? Hmm. What does Papa Swolio think of it? Hmm. What do I think? So many different things about running and cardio in general. Well, one, people just associate and assume that running means you're going to get in great shape. Not true. Most people start running when they don't have good posture, when they have muscle imbalances and they just pound on their joints. Most people run heel to toe. They wear shitty running shoes. Their body is completely off kilter and they just smash on their heels all the time. They hurt their knees. They hurt their back. It's not ideal for most people. If you want to lose weight, you shouldn't just go running. I, I don't agree with that. Um, I'm a big fan of barefoot running, but at the same time, you have to transition into that very, very slowly. You have to run on softer surfaces. Uh, you can do tons and tons of cardiovascular beneficial exercise with yoga, with kettlebell action, um, making sure that you are strengthening your anterior tibialis, make sure you're doing more stuff barefoot, you're stretching, you're doing yoga. There are a lot more things. It depends on where you're starting from is my point. It depends on where you're starting from. You know, I mean, if you're doing things like I see people in the comments, people that are doing trail running and stuff like that. Yeah, but you're doing it on dirt. So you're not doing it on concrete, pound, 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 heel, heel, heel. We're doing trail running. A lot of that's on the balls of your feet. You're on the midfoot because you're going up and down, stuff like that. So it's much more dynamic. But if you're obese, you're overweight, you don't have, you have extra weight on your body to begin with. You don't have a lot of muscle mass. You don't have good postural balance, uh, dynamic posture, static posture. You have muscle imbalances, muscle weaknesses. Your ankles and your whole body has been, your feet have been weakened over time. Your Achilles tendon is hardcore shortened. So it's like you're running on a fault. You're running on a faulty foundation. And a lot of people that are overweight just go right to running. Doesn't mean it doesn't work, but you're kind of like, you're just rolling the dice before you get an overuse injury. You get runner's knee or you start hurting your back or uh, you get plantar fasciitis. That's because of muscle imbalances and improper progression for activity. So what do I think of it? I mean, I think it's fine for people that have progressed and are doing it properly and periodizing properly. It also depends on why you're doing running. Are you doing running to lose weight, to get in shape? I want to get abs. Let me go running. That's not what's going to get you there. doesn't mean it can't help. doesn't mean it's not good for your heart health. But like I've said, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to get control of your health, start with yoga, start with kettlebell. Like doing yoga is going to be plenty of cardiovascular activity. If you've ever done yoga and remember the first time you're, you're just out of breath, you're sweating, you're working all aspects of your body, you're inhibiting muscle groups that should be inhibited, you're activating muscles that need to be activated, you're working on your stabilizers, not to mention just go for a walk. People act like you have to be bleeding out the eyes and you have to be <sighs> out of breath. We just we just talked about it. What was it? Um that um the screen name kid. He lost a hundred and what sixty or seventy eight whatever pounds just walking. Just walking. My mom lost tons and tons and tons of weight just by walking. She's done that. So many just walking, walking five, 10 miles a day, just walking to the end of the street and back walking, walking, walking. It works. So it depends on why you're doing it. Weight loss. Are you doing it for cardiovascular benefits? Are you trying to, you want to do marathons? You've always wanted to. There's different reasons why people can get into running. Walking, walking, walking. <clears throat> Rob Whitman, thoughts on sauna use. Love it. I recently built a dry sauna and I'm grooving on it. Fantastic. I'm going to do it in a little bit. I love it. Sauna is amazing. Oh, amazing. Bella, I'm a runner. A third of runners get injured every year. If you're a newbie, you really need expert training. I don't know what the stats are, but I wouldn't doubt it. A lot of people get hurt doing running. A lot of people get hurt doing any kind of repetitious exercise. So most people that look at running, it is repetitious exercise doing the same thing. Boom, 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 boom. Guess what? Sitting down at a desk is repetitive movement as well. You're just not moving. You're just, but you're rep re repeatedly in one position. So when you do something all the time, over and over again, you never balance it out. Sitting all the time is not good. You know that only doing running. That's all you're doing. It can lead to overuse injuries because you're not balancing it out. Overuse just means you're not getting the proper balance. You're not getting the proper recovery. You're not. 
different reasons for it. So a lot of these answers, a lot of, a lot of the questions that people ask are vague without the context. So is running good or bad? That, there's no answer there. What's the context? What are you trying? Where are you? How are you trying to plug in running? What do you, right? There's other, it's all about the context. What does that look like in context? Relevant, I'll topic my melanin is popping. I'm taking skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm in my element, no ollies, you children popping.